fall down, we lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus, the greatness of the mercy and love at the feet. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, you may take a respectable posture. We are in the presence of our God this hour, sacred hour of the day. The day, the hour of the mercy of the Lord. We want to contemplate on this great mercy. We want to open our hearts for this great mercy to flow into us and forgive us and save us and heal us. That this hour we may experience a beautiful touch, touch of the Lord, making us holy, making us worthy, making us whole in the presence of our God. Today we will meditate as we pray this chaplet of divine mercy will meditate on the great importance of preaching the word, proclaiming the word. And let me read for you Mark chapter 1, verses 14 to 20. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming, the gospel of the Lord. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, son of Zebedee, 
and his brother John. The two were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Sabbath in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. Let us begin this chaplet. You expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our, our death. death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, Son our Lord, who was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of our body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we pray the first decade, opening our hearts for God's mercy to flow into us, praying for the whole world, especially the sick, that God's mercy become a tangible experience for every one of them. Let us meditate on the first verse. The first words that Jesus spoke as he started his public ministry. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus, having come down from the Father, for one purpose, to make sure that no one is lost, that everyone is bathed in the love of God, that everyone is saved. He started by saying, this is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Today, the Lord is saying this. From the altar, from the Holy Eucharist, the Lord is saying this. His heart is moving. To whisper to you, my brother, my sister, this time, this is the time of fulfillment. There's something very particular about this time. Whatever you are suffering from, in whatever you are lost, whatever you feel is threatening, your life, your family, your security. This is the time of fulfillment. The word of the Lord to you, my brother, my sister. The word of God is written for us, not to tell us what happened in the past, but to reveal to us what is happening now, this time. 
And that's why Jesus is come here in the Holy Eucharist. That's why Jesus is present to us now, now, this moment. Look into your life. Look into your life. What is happening to you at this moment? Whatever wrong is occurring to you, to your body, your sickness, you might be wondering, my God, what's going to happen to me? I'm so sickly. Your mental distress, the strain in your family relationships, the problem with your children, and whatever is going wrong with your office, whatever is going wrong, whatever you're frightened of, look at Jesus. The Lord is telling you, this time is special. This time I'm speaking to you now. Jesus is saying, this time you are looking at my face. Jesus is telling you, this is the time. This is a time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Kingdom of God, St. Paul tells us, is the righteousness, peace, and joy of the Holy Spirit. The Lord making everything right. Right in our relationships. Are you feeling awkward that you have sinned against the Lord? Are you feeling ashamed of your sin, guilty of your sin? The Lord is making it right. The Lord is forgiving every sin. Whatever is happening in your family, whatever financial struggles you are having, look at Jesus and claim it. My brother, my sister, this message is for you. This message is for you for now, this moment. This is the time. The Lord is speaking about this time. This is the time of fulfillment. Fulfillment of God's plan for you. Plan for your salvation. Plan for your healing. Plan for the welfare of your family. Welfare not for your destruction, but for your welfare. A plan hidden in the mind of God from all eternity. That plan is being realized now. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus and thank him for this moment of grace, this moment of love and mercy. His mercy is doing it. What is impossible in our eyes is possible for the Lord. The mercy, infinite mercy of God is doing it. Do not imagine you are unworthy for that. It is the Lord's presence that makes us unworthy. We, we are being acted upon my brother my sister you're being acted upon by god god's hands are molding you now 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 believe this believe this in the presence of god and let us pray this chaplet eternal father i offer you the body So and divinity of you dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sin, for those of the whole world, for the sake. Be so full of pleasure. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His awful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Of a 
everyone who is waiting for the salvation of the Lord the Lord is telling you from Psalm 105 verse 5 rely on the mighty Lord constantly seek his face recall the wondrous deeds God has done for you pause for a moment look at the face of Jesus Recall the wondrous deeds God has done for you. All the time we are complaining. We are wondering where God is. Why God is not merciful to you. Look at Jesus and, and recall the wondrous deeds God has done for you. And that will enable you, my brother, my sister, to rely on the mighty Lord constantly to seek his face. This moment, God's glory is flowing into your life. This moment, God's mercy is forgiving you and healing you. A brother who is addicted to pornography and drugs. The Lord is healing that person now. That person completely, you trust in the Lord. Turn to the Lord. Look at his face and claim the healing. A young girl went into a wrong relationship and is ashamed about it. The Lord is looking at her and telling her, my daughter, your sins are forgiven. Turn to the Lord to the mighty Lord, constantly, constantly seek his face. Recall the wondrous deeds 
God has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Your grace, oh God, your grace. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, A man and a woman living together, not married yet in the church. And now they imagine it is too late, too late to go to the church and get married sacramentally. The Lord is telling them, my children, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting to bless your relationship. I'm waiting to fill your heart with joy and love. Turn to me, come to me. And find your comfort in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. A wife, a wife all the time suspicious of the husband. But then she knows she's wrong. And yet, not able to understand and accept her husband. The Lord is looking at her. The Lord wants to heal her of that suspicious tendency. And the Lord wants to show mercy to her. The Lord is telling her, look at my face. Look at my face and be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise. In the second decade, we contemplate the next part of the verse. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel. The first part of the verse was a revelation of this moment, the salvific importance of this moment. This part of the verse is an invitation to turn to him, repent. That's what repentance is, to turn to the Lord. Our hearts perhaps are turned away from the Lord. My brother, my sister, our sin turns us away from God. We're all the time busy with the things of this world. We're all the time busy satisfying our cravings of the flesh, our leanings to the world. The Lord is telling you and me, repent, turn to me. Your life is in me. I'm come that you may have life, life in the full. It's time to repent, to turn to the Lord and believe in the gospel. The gospel is Jesus has come as the Savior and we will not be lost because God the Father has sent him to the world, to you and to me as a personal Savior, my personal Savior, as the good shepherd to come and bind up my wounds now the lord is binding up your wounds my brother my sister the lord is binding up your wounds believe this this is a gospel this is a good news jesus said i'm not come to condemn i'm come to save i'm come to save your family this moment this moment this special moment the lord is telling you today salvation is come to your family repent turn to the lord Turn to the Lord and turn away from every sinful relationship, every sinful habit. Open the door of your heart for the Lord to come in. Hear his knock. Now, this moment, now, this moment, if you hear the voice, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Whatever mess you are in, whatever problems you are facing, the mercy of the Lord is knocking at the door of your heart. Repent, open your heart to him. Let Jesus come in. Believe in the gospel. That's the good news, the gospel. Jesus is my brother, my sister, your savior. is coming to save you now. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity 
of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. You were stronger than I know. The one who gave it life with breath alone. You were, you were glory now display. All the earth belongs to you alone. To your name, your name, and the mountains bow and the seas roar. The rocks cry out, all creation calls to the Holy One, to the Son of God. We will lift our voice in praise, worship your name, worship your name. And seven, verse 19. In their distress, they cried out to the Lord. He saved them from their peril. He saved them from their peril. An immediate danger facing them, a challenge. He saved them from their peril. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise hallelujah, you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Next verse, we read how Jesus chooses his followers, telling Simon Peter, Andrew his brother, James, John his brother, the two pairs of brothers, they were fishermen, telling them, come and follow me. Calling each one of them personally, come and follow me. Because Jesus wanted this message to reach the ends of the earth, everyone should know this. Everyone at all times shall know this. This message. The apostles were chosen. My brother, my sister, we have a great church founded on the apostles, the pillars of the apostles. And you and I are called to that church to continue the same mission. Let us thank God for the beautiful church we have. The church, the continuation of the saving mystery of the Lord. And we experience that salvation in the church today. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity. for us. 
Wonderful name, giving us the assurance of our salvation. Praise you, Jesus. Your name, O oh God, our hope, our hope, our hope, O oh Jesus, your name. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus, your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Lord is telling you. I formed you to be a servant of mine. By me, you shall never be forsaken 
you shall never be forgotten. Hallelujah. 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 Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord. The next verse, they, Simon Peter, Andrew, John, and James, the first disciples, they left everything and followed Jesus. Following Jesus means leaving everything behind. Having nothing to focus our eyes on except Jesus. To follow him in his footsteps. Not in the footsteps of anyone else. Not following the invitations of the flesh or the tendencies of the world following Jesus in his footsteps. And that's what the four disciples did. If they had decided not to follow Jesus, to stick to their torn nets, an old breaking boat, and their profession of fishermen, they would have lived and died. Everything would have come to an end to their life. But, since they followed Jesus, they became relevant in the history of salvation in the kingdom of God. They became the pillars of the church, the great missionaries. Jesus, I want to leave everything behind. I don't want to cling on to anything of this earth. Look at Jesus now, my brother, my sister. The Lord is looking at you, and the Lord is asking you, what is it that you are clinging on to, that you cannot give up? For my sake, an unholy relationship, an unjust way of making money, that evil addiction to drugs, to pornography, to drinking. What are you clinging on to? that hatred in your heart, that greed and anxiety. What are you clinging on to, a friend? You know, not of the kingdom of God, leading you away from the kingdom of God, a court case. Are you clinging on to in hatred? Are you on a hatred campaign against anyone? Anyone. Look at Jesus. Leave it all behind you don't need all that. If you stick to all such things, you will be irrelevant for the kingdom of God. Not even God can save you. The Lord is inviting you now, come and follow me. Come and follow me. Whatever is to be left behind is to be left behind now. Looking at Jesus, casting your Lord with him. Molding your destiny on him, Jesus, and Jesus alone. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Be unto me a 
according to your word, according to your promises, I can stand secure. Come upon my heart, the truth that sets me free, according to your word, O oh Lord, be it unto me. Promised your blood will deliver. Lord, we believe it's true. You promised us joy like a river. Lord, we receive it from you. to me according to your word according to your promises I can stand secure come upon my heart the truth that sets me free according to your word oh Lord be it unto me Sharon Andrech, Megan, Sebi. The Lord is telling you, I have called you by name. You're mine. I know my own. And my own know me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your grace is our God. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Your glory, O God. Hallelujah. Your glory fills the earth. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's all stand up in this fifth decade. And let us offer our life to him. The Lord has got a plan for your life. The Lord had a plan for the life of Simon Peter and Andrew and John and James. And that plan was to make them fishers of men. And God's plan for you is the same. To make you fishers of men and women fishing from the depth of the sea take catch the fishes bring them to the shore of salvation and see in the bible is the symbol of misery symbol of sorrow symbol of despair the plan of the lord for you my brother my sister is to fish Bring them, everyone, bring them from misery to salvation, from sin to forgiveness, from emptiness to the fullness of the love of God. Whoever you are, you could be a parent, you could be a neighbor, you could be a brother, you could be a priest, you could be a nun, you could be anyone. But God's purpose is for you to become a fisher. Fishers of men and women to take everyone out of the misery of life to the shore of salvation. Bring them to Jesus. Bring them to Jesus. And take that call now from the Lord. Take that call. And, and thank him. He's filling your heart with his mercy. His mercy filling you now. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood. So, and divinity. Of the 
so foolish Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of His so foolish shall be healed. You speak your word, O oh God, your all-powerful word. Let your word take flesh in us. Your word of comfort take flesh in us. Let us be comforted by your word. Speak your word 
We are listening. Your servants are listening, oh God. Everyone sick, wait, wait to listen to the voice of God, to the powerful word of God. Get up and walk. Get up and walk to everyone sick. Be healed. Be healed. Let your sight be restored. Look at Jesus and wait for his word. Wait for the word of the Lord. Jesus, according to your word, let it be done to me. Every family with a distress, wait for the word. The Lord is speaking his word to you today. Salvation is come to this house. The Lord is saying his word. Go and get reconciled. The Lord is telling you, Jesus, Jesus, I will go. I will go and get reconciled with everyone. I don't want to bear this burden, this burden of guilt and hatred and revenge. I will go and get reconciled. Let it happen to me according to your word. According to your word, O oh God. Jesus, your word. Your word of power descending upon me now. Let every sick person be healed. Let everyone suffering from the pandemic be healed in your name, in your power, in your holy power, O oh God. Let your salvation reach everyone, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Your grace, O oh God, your grace. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. A couple, a couple without children. The Lord is blessing them with their own child. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A person having an unbearable pain on the knee joints. The Lord is saying the word, be healed. That pain, the Lord is taking away now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A woman having a pain on the right shoulder, right shoulder, because of an operation, that pain, that swelling, the Lord is taking away now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we bless you, Lord. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Twenty persons, twenty persons, waiting for a response after having done the interview. That response is coming to you, favorable to you now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Someone who is frightened that that person would lose the job. The Lord is securing that job for that person. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. The Lord is telling, I am the Lord of the universe. I'm the Lord of the heroes of humankind. I am in charge. I will take authority. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Your power now. Your power descend, O Lord. Your power, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Let's receive the blessing of the Lord, worshiping Him and surrendering our lives in the hands of God with the determination to follow Him in every step. Thank you. 
Sacrament most holy, holy O sacrament, sacrament divine, divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine O sacrament most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine 